G'day folks, it's Rooster O'Clock. It's uh, first light and I'm about to set up a couple of bait rods and go fishing here in the El Dorado Dredge Hole. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Right, I've got both uh, both lines rigged up here. And I've got Janjuck worms on both. I've got two Janjuck worms on this rod and I'm going to put a single Janjuck, I've got a single Janjuck worm on the other rod. I'm getting here just at the right time because I can only just see my rod tips and uh, over the next 10 or 15 minutes I'll be able to see them much easier. Now this El Dorado dredge here has always been a good spot for redfin fishing, there's always been a lot of redfin here. I assume there's carp here but to be quite honest I've never actually seen one, I've never seen one swimming, I've never seen one jumping but they've got to be here, They're, I've caught them in the creek right beside the dredge so the carp have to be here but it's always been a, a good little redfin spot and over the last 10 or 15 years fisheries have been stocking it with native fish they've been putting yellow belly in here and silver perch now i've only ever caught redfin in here and nothing else i did see a bloke catch a really nice yellow belly right here where i'm standing oh, probably eight nine years ago it was about three pounds so i have seen a yellow belly caught here and i've got a couple of friends that catch a lot of silver perch out here so they've, they've only been in the last few years they're a later addition so today i'm fishing for redfin silver perch yellow belly and possibly carp I just had the first nibble of the day, there it goes again. Just getting a really small little nibble on the rod on the left here. Here we go, here we go. Got him. Whoa, what have I got? It's big. Maybe there are carp in here, folks. During the introduction I said oh, there's got to be carp in here. I've never seen one. This might not be a carp. It's fighting like a carp though. It's certainly fighting like a carp. It's not a huge fish, it might be a yellow belly. Tell you what, if it is, it's going in the esky. <laughs> this is when, I don't mind if I lose fish, as long as I don't lose it now. Once, I, I think it's a carp. Once I see the fish, I'm okay with it, it's a carp. That answers that question. That, uh, that's that mystery solved. Yes, there are carp in the Eldorado dredge hole. I've never seen one here. Whenever I've come out bait fishing, I've caught redfin, but I've never, I've never seen that carp here. Although there has been a few fish jumping around just while I've uh, been sitting here fishing. I haven't got a landing net or anything with me. I sort of came here hoping to catch me first ever silver perch, expecting to catch maybe a couple of small redfin. And I've caught a, uh, a big old mud marlin. It's not even big, it's, it's, it's decent, it's not, it's not a monster. It's just an average sort of carp, I suppose you'd say. Come on, buddy. Come on. I've got to admit, I was seriously hoping that was a nice yellow belly. I've got to be really careful not to get too impatient here. It's probably going to be quicker for me to be patient than it is for me to have to re-rig if he breaks the line. They had to be, I mean, there's a creek right there, Reedy Creek is right there, and it's dry a lot of the time, but it, it's flowing really hard at the moment after a heap of rain only two days ago, and when it flows, water actually flows, and that's actually why I decided to come here. There's water flowing into the uh, dredge hole off the creek over there, and with these these ponds that don't have permanent water flowing in, when water does flow in, that can actually trigger the fish to to bite really well. So because there's water flowing in, I thought it's probably a good time to go and wet a line and see how I go. Gee, it's a very fat carp, I know, almost, almost, almost. I'm only using four pound line here, so I've got to be very careful. It's a very clean carp too, actually, looks. No, 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 no. No 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 Batman! Alright hang on. Oh you bastard! Hang on, hang on. Really wish I had my fish grips with me right here now. I've got a mate. Just settle down. Where's the hook? It's a fair way down. I've got it. There you go, folks. Sorry about the blood. That's a bit gross. That's a carp of probably around 60 centimetres, I suppose. Yeah. 
let's, let's euthanize him immediately and put him out of his misery and get me lying back in the water. Righto, well, I'm on the board. Possibly with the most unde undesirable fish in freshwater Victoria, but I'm on the board. Or freshwater Australia. If this video is a little bit jumpy or I hold a fish up and it's not quite in frame or something, I do apologise. I've just bought a new GoPro recently, it's the GoPro Hero 9, and I'm just experimenting with a few different features and a few different settings that aren't actually available on the Hero 7. So if it's not perfect, then that's why I will get used to it eventually. One of the uh, settings I'm experimenting with is horizon levelling. Have a look how flat the horizon is. It's like the camera is always nice and straight. Even if I tilt it on an angle, like I am now, I'm tilting it on to the left, now I'm tilting it to the right. The uh, horizon should still be pretty straight. But anyway, if the, uh, as I said, if the quality is not up to scratch, that's probably why. I'm just experimenting with a few new settings, but I'm sure I'll have it all worked out pretty soon. Getting a nibble here. At the start of the video, I said I'm not sure whether there's carp in here. I've never even seen them swimming around or jumping. I reckon since I made that statement, I've seen a good 20 or 30 carp jump out there. <laughs> whoa, 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 getting a bite, look. Something's playing with it. Something's playing with it. Here it goes, he's still playing with it. What if I hold the rod? Whatever it is, oh, he just tapped it. Little fishy, it seems like years since I've been here. Here comes the sun, da -da -da -da. here comes the sun, and I said, I want a decent bite. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I'll give it a good bite. Getting some half decent nibbles on this rod, but I just can't hook it. There's a nibble. From what I've been told, silver perch. Oh! I've got him. Oh, have I? No, I haven't. It's just a sinker dragon. I'm gonna say I've got something very small. I was just about to say, from what I've been told, silver perch have got a really finicky bite and can be hard to hook. And that's exactly what's happening here. <laughs> I'm getting really finicky bites and I'm finding it hard to hook up. Here we go, here we go. You're getting serious here. You're gonna get him this time? Got him. Have I got my first silver perch? Is this my very first ever silver perch? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Well, how did I not get that? I was getting such a nice bite. <laughs> In fact, it couldn't be any further from a silver perch, could it? <laughs> uh, that's actually very funny. <laughs> I was sure I had a fish on there then. Uh, so good at this. <laughs> Have I been doing this long? <laughs> Got him. Whoa, that's got to be a carp. Sitting here getting heaps and heaps and heaps of little nibbles, all of a sudden it just goes boom, straight down. Sitting here getting heaps of nibbles and my bait keeps getting stolen. And from what Rowan tells me, the uh, silver perch are notorious for stealing bait. It's another carp. To add to the collection of carp. So well, my first ever silver perch eludes me. I still haven't caught it. Well, I'm not leaving yet. I've got to stay for another couple of hours yet. I've never ever in my life caught a silver perch. Heaps of people catch silver perch and I've never caught one. This is probably the only spot sort of close to me where I'm likely to catch one, although there are a heap in Maribel Park Lake in Wangaratta as well. They've increased silver perch stockings dramatically over the last few years, so it's only a matter of time. Come on, this is a bit smaller than the other one. That should be a little bit easier to beach. He's beached, brew. Mate, you are not the bait thief that's been taking my worms lately. Because you just went bang. <clears throat> there we go. That's not my first silver perch. But I'm on the board for the second time today. And there's not so much blood. Just a little bit running down my finger. <laughs> Jan, jack worms are getting it done. Now, 
There's a few people contacting me telling me they can't get hold of Jan Juck worms. There's, it's a long story. They are still selling them, but there's a long story. There's a bit of a shortage of other types, a particular other type of worm at the moment on the market. And some few tackle stores that have just been calling out for Jan Juck worms. They're singing out from because they can't keep up with supply or with demand. So Jan Juck worms are ramping up production of their worms so that they can have more for sale. So at the moment, they are, they are still there. They're just a bit harder than normal to get hold of. Oh, something's just nibbling at it again. Come on. I reckon it's my first ever silver perch just nibbling at my worms right now. Here he goes. He's there, he's there. Oh, bit harder. Come on, come on, come on. Here he goes. Oh, almost. And this one's getting a bite too now. Nibbles on both rods, very, very tiny nibbles. Got to be a little silver perch, I reckon, surely. Oh, come on, take it. I reckon I'm the worst silver perch fisherman in the world. <laughs> Here comes this one again. Got him, finally. Is this my first silver perch? It's very small. Is that my first silver? It's a first... That's a red fin. <laughs> it is a tiny, weeny, weeny red fin. Yeah, look at that. Oh dear, I had a near silver perch experience. <laughs> oh, this other one's getting a bite here. Just all there. I think he's gone. This one just had a real nice bite, but I was... No, he's still, he's still there. Got him, I think. Very small. I'm not going to get excited about it being a baby silver perch because I'll probably get in and it'll be a baby redfin. And that's exactly what it is. <laughs> I'll sit me a little redfin there while I uh, take up the slack on this rod. Don't seem to get redfin until the sun comes up. Once the sun comes up, the redfin seem to come out. Righto, now. He's necked that, I think. No, no, he's alright, he's off. Right, oh, now I'm catching, I'm catching some couplers this morning. I've got a, a couple of carp and a couple of redfin. Now I just need to catch a couple of silver perch. I'm catching couplers. <laughs> here we go, here we go, getting a bite. Got him. What have I got here? It's coming in. I've got a snag or a turtle or something on here, I think. I think I've got a massive turtle. Oh no. It's the other half of the tree that I pulled in earlier and it's got line hanging off it. Right, oh, lots of couples a bite. Lots of couplers today. A couple of carp, a couple of redfin and a couple of snags. I've got uh, some some friends in Wayne, the D team, Dane and Dennis. They're a coupler, a couple of really nice guys, and they catch a lot of silver perch here. I can learn from Dane and Dennis. I've got a fish on here. I just changed my GoPro battery and I thought I'll reel it in and uh, another red fin. I thought I'm, this, this has stopped getting bite, so I'll reel it in and uh, and check the bait. There's a bloody tiny many red fin on there. He's swallowed the hook. Well folks, I'm about to pack up and go home. I've been here about three hours. It's just on nine o'clock. The first hour was really, really good. The second hour was okay, and the last hour has been as dead as a doornail. But anyway, the uh, elusive silver perch continues to elude me. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, why not give it a big fat thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hopefully you'll join me on my next fishing adventure.